Hey, how you doing today? Tub Boyd here. You know, uh, faith was uh, critically important in taming the Texas frontier. And this is the first of two videos on this really important topic. From the early Spanish missions that followed the conquistadors to the later immigrants from the United States, faith was a key component in the settlement of Texas. Now, my ancestors, they were Irish Catholics that escaped British persecution in the 1840s and 1850s. Following are excerpts from my historical autobiographical novel about my great-great-grandfather Nicholas Dunn, as told in the book Long Larry Dunn. Nicholas's father's house was described as follows. The parlor featured horsehair upholstered furniture, marble top tables, rich mahogany finishes, and ornately framed pictures of the famed Irish heroes Daniel O'Connell and Robert Emmett as well as a large painting of all of the popes from Pope Peter to Pope Leo XIII. Dunn family historians went on to describe the nature of the family's faith as they settled near Corpus Christi. Quote, our Catholic faith, faith easily integrated with the pre-existing Spanish culture as they too were mostly Catholic. We were a God-fearing lot, good Catholics to the bone. My father was a right-hand man of the bishops, priests, and sisters of the parish, and I understand that at one time or another, virtually all of the sacraments had been delivered in my father's house, except holy orders. And the Dunn family contributed charitably to their faith community. Quote, I'd be remiss not to share that my father and my brother John were instrumental in the establishment of St. Patrick's Church in Corpus Christi. His first priest, was Dublin-born Father Bernard O'Reilly. Prior to Father O'Reilly, the area had been served by the pastor from Victoria, Texas, County Mayo-born Father James Fitzgerald. Now, my father also gave a portion of his land that later would become St. Teresa's Catholic Church along what is today called Upriver Road. So, my family, like many on the Texas frontier, was very much involved in the Catholic Church and wrapped in their Christian faith. It was part of what went into taming the Nueces Strip in southern Texas. So you all stay tuned for publication of the next Nueces Justice and your introduction to Texas Ranger Captain Luke Dunn beginning in spring of 2019. I want to give thanks to you all and have a great day.